Hey everyone, welcome to episode 10 of uh, my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. Uh, so today, uh, before we long rest, I think I'm going to start just by uh, exploring the camp, talking to everyone. Uh, we have a familiar face back here. The uh, talkative skeleton. Let's see what he has to say. We meet again, as predicted. It's I like you planned it. in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services... Uh, what kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Mm, that's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Uh, impressive and probably expensive. What's the cost? A matter of coin. Okay, so 200 coin for a uh, resurrection. Uh, what if I don't have that kind of gold right now? Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Okay, I'm wondering, does he like sell anything maybe? Fate spins along as it should. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. Uh, not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Uh, skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. I guess he's not, like, fully skeleton. He has, like, a head. Are you going to explain further? No. Okay. I'm wondering if we maybe find more information about him later. I don't like that whenever, uh, I'm stationary, the imp just, like, stops moving. It's weird. Uh, so we don't need to talk to Herrick or Bragara because they're our custom party uh, characters, so they're not going to have anything to say. Uh, let's talk to Gale. Let's see what's going on with him. What's on your mind? Uh, well, apparently he doesn't want to talk about nothing. Uh, Starion, do you have anything to say? You again. Uh, what's your priority right now? We can't understand it, we'll never control it. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing these guys actually aren't going to have a lot of information to say. Let's talk to Will. We haven't actually talked to him before. Salutations. Uh, a lot of options. Oh, your eye. Your eye is unusual. Now, what now, happened? I always save the best stories for my closest friends and my cruelest enemies. Get to be one of those and I'll spill the whole jug. Okay. Hmm? You get that, right? Spill the whole jug? <laughs> huh. I guess I'll toss that one in the heap. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to examine the eye more closely. A groove spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Is his eye a sending stone? <laughs> a, a what now? Goodness, but it's just a bit of rock. Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. This legend is keeping something from me. Hmm. Do we want to? Yeah, You've I'm going to try to it. Source of the power. Ah, okay. But it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. Unfortunate. All right, let's talk about something else. Uh, dealing with the goblins, what's your plan? Saying I just made up. To fell a dragon, you must chop off its head. These goblins are organized. There's no hamhead pulling the strings. That's fair. Their hideout can't be far. We slither in and off their leaders. Quick as crickets. Uh, simple enough. Yeah, I've tangled with the like before. Thick as planks. Keep smashing and they'll splinter. We could turn at any moment. How are you in such good spirits? I reckon I could mutter and mope about till the brain bug takes me. But the truth is, I feel fine. <sighs> Better than fine. And I've no plans to stop fighting the good fight. Fair enough. Uh, that is an unusual blade name, though. The Blade of the Frontiers. Living legend in the flesh. Slayer of specters, killer of kobolds. 
the pride of Baldur's Gate. Ah, uh, yes, I know of your exploits. So you know the stories, all true, I might add. I'm sure they are. Be long before they're telling new tales. Mind flayers, flying ships, dragon attacks. <sighs> the legend grows. Uh, what should we do next? We sniff out the Gobo leaders and take their heads. And we free the Druid housing while we're at it. If we want these brain bugs removed, he's our man. But failing that, this gift crash sounds promising. If Maisel's telling us straight. I know, I know. That's a pretty big if. Okay. Uh, where's Shadowheart? Uh, normally she, like, sits over here. Am I, like, am I stupid? Gale, Starion, Will. Huh. This is unfortunate. I don't know where she could be. Hmm. Not... Is she back here? I wonder why uh, she just disappeared. That might be some issue with the custom party stuff going on. Uh, nope, she's not back here. How am I missing where Shadowheart is? I know Lizelle's right here. Gale, Starion, Will. So Lizelle's not showing up on the... Or Lizelle's showing up as a party member. I guess because she is in the party. Eric, Brigara... Uh, and the skeleton doesn't show up either. Strange. Speak. Um, are you sure your crush is there? Only path to a cure. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. To all questions, the Kalir Library harbors answers. A gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Hmm. Uh, your word we haven't changed. This is yes, good news. If you give it no further thought, but anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Now, uh, what do you suggest we do next? We find this Zoru in the Red Hunter's camp. He will point us to a crash. There we may be purified. Okay. Well, I think it's time to long rest. See if we have any cutscenes here. Yes, I would like to go to bed. Where are you? What is this tentacle thing? What is this shit? Hello? I don't like that at all. Whoa. Where's the rest of my party? Why are they all down there? Okay, I'll just fast travel to the roadside cliffs, I guess. And go meet up with them real quick. That is strange. What the hell are they doing over here? Hello? They're all just standing. This is strange. Uh, well, we do need to take Lizelle to go speak to Zoro. Zoru, I believe. And then, uh, we can go from there. Let me summon my imp. Uh, do you need anything to do? Nope. Oh, I am going to put her on repost, though. Okay. Uh, let's fast travel over to the... Not a fast travel point here. We have Zoru and the Entranced Child apparently is a quest we can do. Uh... Huh. 
I thought there was a fast travel point up in here. I guess not. Uh, it looks like cliffs it is. And we'll just make our way up to the camp. Uh, so yeah, with this being the 10th video, I'm super excited to continue the, the let's play. Um, uh, I have played obviously, uh, early access before in this. I haven't done the entirety of it. I, uh, um, have gone up through like the goblin camp and things like that. I, I didn't go towards the crash or anything. So there are some new things that I'll be experiencing, which will be nice. Um, and then I think soon I'm going to be starting, uh, another let's play of a different game. I'm not sure which one I want to start yet. Initially I was going to do uh, cyberpunk, but that got delayed till December. Uh, so that I'll have to wait. I'm thinking of either doing, uh, the new Assassin's Creed when that comes out or kingdoms of Amalur, the re-reckoning that could be interesting as well. Okay, so we're at the Grove. Let's go find this kid. Not the kid, uh, Zoru. Who's, what is this? Aaron? Are you Aaron? Yeah, okay. And there's the entranced child. Oh, is, is this kid back? Donnie. Where the hell did you disappear to before? Oh, come on. Ah. Is, that, is he pointing at the rock? Something, but you can't make any sense of it. Is there something back here? Uh, I want a guidance. Okay, let's try talking to him again. Oh, well. I guess we'll just pay him. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. Did he not talk? Hello? What is it? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away. As if it hurts to look at you. What is wrong with this kid? Okay, right, whatever. Let's go down the hatch. Tiefling hideout. What do we got going down on? Oh, there's Mole Murkon. Murkon is. Is that the kid we saved at the beach? Looks like there's an exit up there. Hello, mole. 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 Eh, let me click on you. What the fuck? What is going on? Something is like majorly fucked up right now. Like, look at this kid. He's freaking out. Come on. I don't No, I want to. Right, I'm going to try leaving the area. I get in here up here. Let me try leaving and coming back. This is strange. Oh, wait, no. Now we can go talk to her. Come on. There we go. Look who's come to visit. That was weird. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Hmm. Why are you running all these schemes and swindles? Risky, Thank you know. For a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Hmm. <laughs> this would be good. Quite the opposite. I want to invest in the newest thieves guild on the Sword Coast. Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? 
I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. Wonder if it, will it let me talk to him? Come on. Ugh. What does it say in my log about that? Uh nothing really. We got some new stuff in here. Okay, whatever. Let's go find Zoru. Okay, Zoru should be back down this way. Mrs. Zoru? Yep. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yeah, and I suggest you do as she says. Lower. Wait, I'm going to wait for the tiefling to obey. You saw another gith. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. Saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Hmm. Up. You can keep your innards. Lazel is a fairly aggressive individual. Okay, well, we have the map now. Uh, Gods, deliver me. Do we need to talk to him more? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Like, it still says we have to talk to him, but uh, we do have to talk to Lazel, though. Your kind proves compliant. A useful Whoa. trait. Tieflings aren't compliant, we're survivors. Cockroaches are survivors. Yet I do not congratulate them. That's rude. The teethling was clear. <laughs> if I thank you west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. We are tieflings with an F. I am unfamiliar with the well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. Feyrun. No, no. It's Feyrun. Uh, I'm going to insight check her. Probably not going to be very good at this, but... No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to know anything. You see nothing unusual in Lazel's demeanor. What do you mean, purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay. Uh, is there more information we could have got out of Zoru? Keep your feet Where do you go? Like he's still listed on here. I think this most recent build a little buggy. Uh, I want to go talk to, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's like the head teethling. Where's Lazel says teethling. We can go through this door to find him. It's like, here's Zoru. But the marker's still over there. Ah, secluded chamber. The Zevlor and Till says. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, your people need to leave. I'm I can grateful. help. 
there's still an army of goblins out there. I won't expose my people to that. I hear that you've joined up with the Blade of Frontiers, which means you've heard his plan. He seems confident he can do it. I take it you intend to help him. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. So he wants me to kill the, um, You're the one who helped at the gate. Uh, goblin leaders. Sword. <sighs> we might need it. I don't use a sword. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not going to loot their shit. Ooh. Oh, let's go up here. Ah, okay. A little side entrance here. It's kind of cool. Ooh. What's all this? Nice little ladder over there. Could we jump? Down there? Uh, no. There is something over here, though. We can go around this way. I think we could make this jump easily. Oh, too far. Oh, but I can go up here. Cool. Let's get everyone over. These tieflings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Whoa, lady. A little rude. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. Yeah, you tell them. Yeah, you're gonna whoop. I want everyone on my party to be able to do that shit. I have to use a stupid. Uh, this is like super annoying. I don't like this at all. Like, I wish I could do one person jump and then everyone follow. It would be uh, so nice. I sit here and oops. speak. Uh, leave. Ooh, almost clicked on her again. I guess I should have Lazel leading the group. Oh, there's some people up here. Okay. So it looks like we could jump down. There was like that platform. Oh, there's a ladder the whole way back. I really don't want to fucking jump the whole way back around that way. Uh, I'm assuming there's no way for us to get down there without jumping. Yes, yeah, so there's a dead guy here. Or no, he's unconscious. Okay, I am... Not dealing with that jumping again, so I'm going to... Uh, which one do I want? I want to go to the roadside. I'm just teleporting back to the roadside close, and I'll walk up this way. Because fuck that. A little ridiculous. Uh, I need to come up here. Uh, but yeah, so as we're walking... uh. Yeah, so uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys uh, want to see next in terms of like uh, let's plays and stuff. This uh, early access I think is supposed to give around like twenty five to thirty five hours of content. I know we can't go above level four, um, so we'll get to the first like feat selection and things like that uh, with these characters, but won't be able to go any further than that. Uh, I'll f go up this path a little later at some point. Now I'm going to go talk to these people that are on the road up here. Is this where they were? Yeah. Oh, he's dead now. Whoa. Well, okay then. What is he? A bottle, go gold, and shaft of a broken... Well, the man oh. Is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. 
a glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as Ooh. the creature behind your like eye. The mind flayers put a fuck ton of these things out here. One squeeze. Definitely gonna crush it. it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Uh, try to crush the creature. Easy. Come on. Okay, not as easy as I thought. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But Squish it's it. Too precious. It's not sweet. Too sweet. Isn't it? Not at all. Smash the parasite. Let's go, Lizelle. Oh, that's a bigger number than before. Oh, perfect. You raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. Yeah. Oh, we all got experience. That's kind of cool. So I don't know what it means with these exclamation points coming up. Uh, what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to quick save here. I'm going to try to talk to... Abandon their hopes okay. as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Uh, at least we know they can be removed. Now to find a non-fatal way. Avatar. <laughs> uh, so I think I am talking as uh, Brigar right now. Uh, yes, all we need to do is get that thing out of our heads and we'll be all right. And then now I'm talking as Herrick. I agree, they look so vulnerable to their hosts. We can find a way to stop them. Spare distance is good. Let's look for let's look forward and push on. Okay, so it looks like those exclamation points lead to like inter-party discussions with the custom characters. Uh so I'm gonna run around to that uh uh ladder from earlier and then oh this looks like a secret entrance to something. Oh, oh shit. What's in here? Oh shit, it's a whole new cave. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. You know what? Actually, we're going to call the episode here. Um, and next episode, we'll start by exploring this cave. See what it's got to offer. I, mean, I already see an exploding barrel right there. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out the episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the beginning of episode 11.